did Jesus have a child? <laughs> well, in this video, we're going to be talking about that, so let's get started. A Bible Believers is welcoming here from In Their Word, where we help you swim in the Word of God daily. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about whether or not Jesus had a child and was actually married. So, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below the video and obviously hit the bell notification so you get instant access and instant notifications every time we release a new video. We release videos every single week. And when I thought about doing this video, I was sort of puzzled for a little bit because I was thinking, what scriptures can I highlight to answer this question? And the Lord put one scripture on my heart and then it led to two scriptures. So that's what I'm going to talk about in today's video. So there's obviously a misconception out there by some people that Jesus was married, had kids and all this kind of stuff. And I'm going to highlight one of the big problems if that's actually true. Okay, because fundamentally the scripture talks about Jesus being betrothed to the church. Okay. Um, and if Jesus is betrothed to the church but he also went away and had uh, another a wife and the kids and all that kind of stuff then obviously that makes the Bible wrong and obviously that just leads you down a whole other rabbit hole with just loads of different dramas so one of the scriptures that the Lord put on my heart was Ephesians chapter 5 and what is that talking about there well in Ephesians 5 Paul is writing about husbands and wives and how they should interact with each other and he talks about a couple of different things and he goes on for about 10 verses talking about husbands to treat your wives like this because Christ done this and wives to treat your husbands like this because X, Y, Z and all that kind of stuff. And he goes on for about 10 verses. And at the end, Paul writes a particular verse. He says, I speak of a mystery. I'm talking about Christ and the church. Okay. And it's really interesting because what does that do? That outlines that Jesus, as I said earlier in this video, was betrothed. Okay a spouse to the church and in the book of revelation we have what we call the marriage supper of the lamb so the first verse i want to talk about was obviously ephesians about 10 verses paul talking about husbands and wives and he ties it all in between husbands and wives and obviously christ and the church as um, a symmetrical example okay it's sort of an illusion or maybe an allegory now the first i want to talk about again which is in the book of revelation it's in Revelation 19 verse 7 to 8 and look what it says it says let us be glad and rejoiced and give honor to him for the marriage of the lamb obviously is Jesus is come and his wife have made herself ready eight and to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen clean and white for the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints so you're gonna have people talking about oh Jesus married this woman and that woman or Jesus married Mary Magdalene and had children all that kind of stuff now um, that obviously isn't the case. There's no biblical reference or scripture that proves that more to the point Okay, Jesus is talking here or the scripture is talking here about Jesus and his wife being prepared Which is the church Jesus talked about in Matthew 19 among other places look From the beginning it was not so that man should put away his wife So if God is talking about here that Jesus and his wife is being prepared or is prepared Okay, which is the church etc how can he have been married to someone else with kids it doesn't make any sense okay so on that note that wraps up the video as it stands now we're in march so we're getting close to the holidays the passover time and it's really interesting that the mary magdalene movie just came out the other day and um i'm reminded of a story that my wife told me about my brother's wife okay now she she was telling me that my brother's wife was in the supermarket and these two women were in front of her talking about how Oh, have you seen the Mary Magdalene movie or the trailer, or whatever it is, and all that kind of stuff? And she, the other one was like, no. And she said, oh, she didn't know that Mary Magdalene and Jesus. And then she went on. Now, my wife told me that my brother's wife basically went on to basically just say, you know what, I'm not trying to um, be nosy and interrupt all this kind of stuff, but I can hear what you're talking about. And I just want to point out that Jesus and Mary Magdalene had no sort of relations like that okay now i'm not going to comment on the movie and whether it does or doesn't try and insinuate that stuff because i didn't watch it and i haven't planned to watch it since but even just from the trailer one of the things you have to be on you have to be mindful of in regards to films and all that kind of stuff is the suggestion okay? and there is loads of suggestion through the, through the movie trailer which is clearly trying to get you to associate Mary Magdalene and Jesus as having some sort of relationship. Um, one key point is, think about what this video style is called, okay? And in the trailer, it says the untold story, okay? What untold story? The story of Magdalene, Mary Magdalene is in the Bible. It's pretty clear and, and um, she's honored, okay? As um, a righteous woman who repented and obviously um, had a relationship with God, okay? Nothing, will, no sort of 
um, husband and wife or boyfriend and girlfriend or anything like that. It's just strictly she believed Jesus Christ was her Lord and Savior, just like any woman today would. And that was it. Okay. So by them telling you this is the untold story, what are they doing? They're associating and they're trying to get you to associate what you're seeing with something that no one has talked about before or no one has ever seen which is not actually what actually happens okay so jesus didn't have any children jesus wasn't married while he was on the earth and all that kind of stuff wasn't married to mary magdalene despite what the movie might try and insinuate or or lead people to believe okay and the scripture says like i said it in revelation 19 that there will become a time when his wife okay as it says will be made ready okay and that is the believers it's just that simple so on that note don't forget to subscribe to the channel below the video hit the bell notification and let me know your thoughts leave a comment below the video did jesus have a child was jesus married was he married to mary magdalene um, it doesn't really matter what you believe in that sense we can take the conversation further and you can give your reasons i'll give my reasons on top of what i've actually talked about in this video and all the best with your bible study and as always don't forget to swim daily in the word of god thanks and take care